Hello YouTube. So today I want to talk about um, instant wiring. So it's a topic that someone asked me to cover. And so today I'm finally covering it. Um, so for instant wiring, there isn't a ton of stuff that we can use that's instant. Um, so most of it is going to be pistons and chaining updates using rails and stuff like that. Uh, because we want to, to to use stuff that's dustless, of course. Um, so yeah. So the first thing that we have are these um, these budded pistons. So if you update one of these pistons, it's going to chain the update, and it's going to uh, chain it like this. Then update this piston within the same game tick and you can change this indefinitely. So the way that this works is that you have a piston like this with a redstone block. It can be here or here, doesn't matter. And when you give it an update, uh, it's going to extend. And then you can change this update to another piston uh, farther down the line. Just like so. And yeah, that's pretty flexible. Um, there's just one thing that's a little unfortunate with that, and it's that it doesn't uh, do well with uh, stuff like uh, short pulses. So, um, if you have uh, something that uses short pulses, um, there are other stuff that um, can work. Like I think you might be able to do something like this, or not. <laughs> All right, let's try this out. Yeah, so that way it still works. But you need another piston. Now, what's uh, pretty sad with this is that well, it requires pistons, which is a little bit laggy. And um, you can't clock this super fast. So if you want to use something that's faster, you can use something like uh, a, a rail bud like this, which is a design by Kazen, I think. Uh, there are just so many, so many names in TMC that uh, look just the exact same as this person. So I'm sorry if uh, I didn't pronounce it right because Man, just uh, I, um, yeah. So th this is uh going to send a an update to like the length you want. You just need to repeat this pattern, and it's going to send an update like that. Now, if you want to instantly uh update something, you well, obviously you're going to need an instant, uh, what do you call that? Like uh, an instantly powering stuff, an instant piston. Um, so I'm trying to build one right now. Um, fuck that. And that's a sticky piston, very important. So when I do that, it's going to zero take this piston. And yeah, that's instant. Okay. Um, another way we can um, do instant stuff is uh, by retracting pistons. And yeah, I don't even need this. Let's say you want to unpower this piston. As soon as you power this one, it's going to unpower this one. But if you want to do the opposite, it's going to be a little bit more challenging. Um, so you're gonna you're going to have to zero tick a a block. And in this example, I just use a bunch of ways to instantly transmit signals. So I used this uh, sixty and tick wire over here. Then I used the rail to repeat uh, a signal over a longer distance. And finally, I'm using a zero tick piston over here. 
and this particular contraption is something that I've archived on my Discord server um, because, well, th this is just super cool and very useful. So if I trigger this, you'll notice that we instantly push uh, this block over here. Um, and we know that, it, that it's instant because, well, it doesn't push the armor stand. Whereas a... A block being pushed like this would push the armor sin as well as uh, a short pulse. But the armor sin doesn't move, so we know that this is a zero tick. And say so you put a redstone block instead, um, well, this is going to instantly power and unpower a piston um, when you update it. So instantly update, instantly uh, update again. Um, so yeah, let me just do a tick freeze. Then I'm going to click this, tick step two for the observer. And we already started pushing over here. And then we freeze this. You took step two, and we already started unpowering. Uh, and also, I'm planning on making another video for um, the tick counting for most the most basic uh, components. And yeah, so that's pretty much the stuff that you're going to use for instant uh, transmission. Um, so. Basically, you're going to need to update update stuff. Like that's always what you need to do, right? Um, so you need the blocks that cause um, block update, not shape update. And these blocks are rails. Let's just lay them all over here. We have these rails. We have the node block. We have the bell. We have redstone dust if you um, are willing to commit war crimes. Then there are pistons. And well, you can use slime and honey if you wish to um, propagate the signal further. Like in this example, over here, we have um a dust update less um instant powering of these pistons and this thing over here uh is something that I'm not smart enough to do on my own so I have to give the credit to infra on discord who shared it with me so thanks to him and yeah, now dust is sinful, but you can use um, dust update less stuff, um, and then it's not sinful. <laughs> so uh, recently, I've done um, a construction that uses something like this over here. So over here, I had um, a row of pistons like this, like that. And well, I couldn't um, power uh, anything in here, and I needed these um, pistons to update instantly to go up because over here I have observers that I want to update as fast as I can. And yeah, instant is the fastest that I can. <laughs> um, so the idea is that we have a piston over here that is going to be budded um, by this redstone dust and we can use a dust redirection to do so so dust redirection works like uh, let me just take a piston like that 
and yeah okay so this redirection very simple when you redirect dust and it stays at the same power level um, you need to tell the, the any block that is going to be powering um, that it's no longer powered or that it's now being powered and that doesn't just apply to pistons it can apply to anything you want really so like let's say you wanted to do this for trapdoors for decoration purposes um, well by doing so you can bud a trapdoor no th that's not useful because you can do that by hand but with it an iron trapdoor um, you couldn't so you could do that and well I don't know you, you're fucked with the uh, <laughs> with this dust over here so you would you want to do this um, through a, a block so that um, the signal uh, well so that the trapdoor doesn't update when you break everything around it so yeah in this case this is going to power this and I want both of these to go up so because this block QC powers this piston means that I can just update this piston and it's going to know to push up because it's being powered by this block and when this powers this piston is going to notice yo I just received a, a block update and it's going to push up and that's going to remove the power um, well, no, actually, <laughs> it receives power from over here. Um, so, what's going to happen is that when we push this up, I have this redstone block over here that redirects dust that goes to this piston, which uh, redirects this dust over here. And yeah, this is this is the peak of all of my. Uh, achievements in TMC <laughs> it's so um, simple I guess and I'm pretty pretty sure that it's nothing to most people but it's just so fucking cool it's self resetting just do this and then you do this and yeah very nice so yeah you've got pretty much all of the ways that you can instantly carry a signal like this now if you want to instantly carry a signal to stuff like comparers I don't know how this shit works Alright, so what you're gonna do is that you're going to go to iPlayGames YouTube uh, channel and you're going to watch his video on instant signal carry. <laughs> Thanks for watching, bye.